Howard. Well, what is it, Dave? I just want to say one thing to cheer you up here. Tomorrow, Dave, Dave won't be here. Ah. Well, don't worry. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and you know, Howard, when, whenever I feel like a loser, I go to JD's uh, MySpace page. And I don't feel so bad about myself. Is that where you go? Exactly. That's funny. He's making a point there. You're making a good point. Thanks Lucky. <laughs> you know, I was sitting in my office the other day. J.D. has the office adjacent to mine. Yes. We oh, share a oh, wall. Oh, 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 I can hear him right through the wall. Oh, really? And every once in a while, I'll be back in my office having a meeting or mostly sleeping. And I hear like a whooping crane. And I thought there was a bird here, like a whooping. It's J.D.'s laugh. <gasps> Really? And what Richard, is his laugh like? Have you ever heard him laugh? I hear it all day. Yeah, it's like, woo! It's like, woo! Woo! Really? Woo! It's no, almost like the Felix it. Unger nasal thing. I know I have it. Someone, uh, Richard Christie recorded it. What, hey, what page is that on? I want to play it for you. It's on Gary Preview page. It's in green. Thank Bright, you. Bright green. Check this out. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it? It's one, one noise. <laughs> <laughs> So you hear that when you're trying to sleep. All the time. <laughs> hey, Howard. Yeah. If you get a chance, you should play, if you want to go down that road, some of those clips in purple right next to it of uh, J.D. not making sense. Yeah, this is kind of funny, too. You'll like this. J.D. was interviewed by Howard TV. Okay. Because, you know, all of us are interviewed every minute by Howard TV. Right. So they said to J.D., uh, we're doing a Beetlejuice special. Say a few words about Beetlejuice. J.D. cannot get out of coherent sentence. Uh, it is really <laughs> remarkable. He starts to tell a story, and I don't know what it is about his personality. He just gives up. Mm. He cannot communicate. Beetlejuice is great because, you know, <laughs> he really has no idea what's going on in the world outside of outside of his mind. It, everything is like he can't say a single word, uh, you know, until, um, how do you say it? <laughs> how do you say it? Uh, like, uh. Foreign people say, how do you say? Man. <laughs> how do you, you say? You can't say a single word as it's supposed to be said. How's that? Kind of like you. <laughs> yeah, isn't he describing himself? That's it, why we love he you. He and Beetlejuice are trapped in the same nightmare. Yeah, I'll play another little snippet. I, oh, on video, I've seen Beetlejuice naked, and it's, you know, it's it's pretty impressive. I'm pretty impressed what by What are you impressed with? Uh, the, the size of his, uh, of his, of his, of his uh, penis. And uh, you know, uh, it's 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 impressive. You know, he you can tell you can tell he keeps in shape. He's not like Beetlejuice. At least Beetlejuice is charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He's he's awesome. He's a funny guy. <laughs> I don't like everyone just the <laughs> what. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You guys are looking. I answered the question. You should just never I'm done. <laughs> never take your camera off. Dude, I've never seen a guy more incoherent than you. Well, uh, you know, first of all, like, I got this email to be part of this, like, interview thing for yeah. a Beetlejuice special. And, you know, I don't really deal with Beetlejuice or anything. Well, so. say that then. Say, I don't deal with Beetlejuice. I have nothing to say. Well, yeah, I was trying to, you know, give him at least something. And then, and then, you know, I'm sitting there after I say something, they just stare. Everyone's just staring at me. <laughs> like, and I, I didn't know what to do. I was like, what? They're just staring at me. You know, one of, one of my favorite memories of Beetlejuice is uh, I remember this tape of, of him and Sean in, this, in the green room uh, back at K-Rock. And Sean is sort of like, you know, he's, he's saying he's, he's going to show, uh, you know, the people his tattoos. <laughs> but he just, like, ends up ripping his shirt. And Bill just is so, like, he doesn't know what to do. That sounds sort of tired. Hold on one second. What? <laughs> My God, I don't even know what you're saying. I know. I, it's like I, English that, is your second I, language. Man. I was trying to say something, but I was thinking it, and it made me laugh, and I, was, I, I just sounded like a douche. I hear you're having trouble with your movie for the film festival. <laughs> I'm not having trouble with my movie. It's going to get done. What? I heard it's going to be bad. <laughs> well, of course he did from Ronnie. He thinks everything's bad. Is it going to be good? It'll be good. All right. All right, there he is, J.D., a little levity from J.D. <laughs> No, 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 no,
pounded four JDs in a row, oh. and now he's got that stop drinking, sun drunk with a headache, went out on the boat with no booze, came back, and he was ornery. You were ornery. You, I, I, I was, you were ready what's to going on with you? You, 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 it's like you a never drank. Like two months ago, you would not even have a drink. Now you're an alcoholic? <laughs> no, I'm not an alcoholic. Oh, if I was an alcoholic, I would have just kept drinking. Yeah, you were belligerent, man. You were ornery when well, you got I, back from... You were like, ah, whatever. Uh, Howard, uh, Robin offered everybody a, a second tour. So I said, J.D., you want to take a tour? He goes, fuck that. He goes, hey, what is this? MTV Cribs? I ain't going no fucking tour. Oh. Oh. And I heard you spilled a drink all over Robin's boat. And he was right. laughing about it. I'm oh, sorry about that, Robin. Yeah, Dude, he was spilling Thank drinks God, all over. The boat is it was, we cleaned it all up, me and Will. The, Thank bad, you, Will. the badass emerged, not J.D. Yeah. Yeah. The now badass. we know why. He calls himself the uh, badass. Give me another JD. <laughs> like, JB or whatever. What do you drink? JB? Uh, no, JD. Uh, Jack, Jack Daniels. And what? Jack and Coke. No. Jack and Coke. How, how did you go from time? never drinking to Jack and Coke? Uh, Oh, yeah, that was my dad's drink, so I just, uh, I, I, oh, I felt bad because I was with him the very first time he took a drink of champagne, and I feel like maybe Dude, I had something to do honestly, with it. honestly, you gotta Getting get, you gotta get rid of the Coca-Cola, because that's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> He's true. He's right. It makes the, it, it makes, makes the, it sweet drinks. Yeah, and it makes the hangover worse. Well, I didn't, I didn't have a hangover or anything. Every, I was riding on that boat, everyone was like, don't, don't puke, don't puke. I was like, I'm not gonna puke. <laughs> he was in the front. <laughs> he get when he gets drunk, he almost gets even more retarded. Like his <laughs> bottom lip opens up and it's got spit all over. Oh, and no. and he's, he's standing there, me. he's standing there wobbling back and forth. And Scott Salem's <laughs> wife goes, "He's drunk. I thought he was always like this." <laughs> He's just Napoleon. Wow, good one, Sal. And then, you wait, sound like Napoleon. Dino. You guys having a killer time? <laughs> he smiles a lot when so he's drunk. So were you miserable and angry? No, I was, you a miserable I was fine. Angry and drunk? I was fine. Thank, Thank you, you for inviting there. me, Robin. It was a beautiful right, right, party. How did you get there? Uh, Tracy took me to there, and then uh, Jason uh, and his girlfriend took me to Hoboken, and I got on the path train there. Wow. Rode on the train back home. He's a friggin' mess. We have 17 <laughs> hours to get home. Wow. But let me tell you, he was he took my place Saturday. He was dumping. He walks over me to, to say something. He dumps his whole drink on. Oh, dude, yeah, the whole did. drink. He was, he was, he was, a, was a whole drink. And he was he was nasty, man. Like I said, I said just get the f away from me. Uh, yeah, Don't yeah. come near me. Me be nasty? Yeah, because you were like you were horrible, man. You were dumping crap all over everybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, man, I saw Early in the party, you were still okay when I saw you. No, actually, you saw me after I uh, I spilled a little bit on Ronnie's hand. A little oh, bit, really? yes. A little bit, yes. A little bit, like the whole drink. No, it wasn't the whole drink. It was in my plate and oh, everything. Okay. You know where I found him then after he spilled a drink on Ronnie? Back at the bar. Well, JD would only eat from the kids' table because he liked those little hot dogs. He was like a child. <laughs> oh my god! Like he wouldn't eat where the adults were eating. Oh, they had pasta and stuff. Yeah, was he, the... he was eating macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. That was for the kids, you retard. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that. I heard a lot of adults were eating from the kids. I yeah, was. I wasn't the only one. I okay. Was too. Uh huh. Those little wieners were awesome. <laughs> yeah. I they, had regular, the wiener. they had regular hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. but those little bite-sized ones are so <laughs> good. I didn't see where those were. Wow. Yeah, there were hot dogs and hamburgers off the grill. I J think. JD was eating the ribs and he was eating them like in slow motion because he was drunk. And then he slams them down on the plate and he goes, "These ribs suck." <laughs> <laughs> were they bad? They're all right. Okay, they're, 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 what do you mean they're, all right? they're okay. I mean, you know, awful, what's in JD. his ribs? They were my ribs. You know, ribs. They, they could be someone else's. I heard they were good for many yeah, people. See, there you go. I like them. They were you delicious. heard that from other people that the ribs weren't good? No, that they were that really they were good from many people. Oh. Never, yeah. This is the first time hearing that somebody complained about food. You talk to a guy eats bologna and cheese for lunch every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know about ribs. No, he has McDonald's. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Burger uh, my, I walk by and see that lunch every day. <laughs> my final food tally was was quite a bit. Yeah, the big topic was how fat you'd gotten. I uh, let me tell you something, and it didn't help the other day. I had probably. About uh, eight or nine ribs. Wow. See, I didn't see that going on. I was sitting to eat with you. Yeah, well, well you, I... you saw phase one. <laughs> oh, you mean that was your first <laughs> sitting? <laughs> yeah, I had it before and after I went out on the boat. Oh. And then I had about easy five hot dogs, two pieces of grilled chicken. And, and you didn't uh, take a shit? No. Wow. Jeez, no. awesome. Arnie. Good. It, it takes a Did lot Did you eat any me. salad? 
And, uh, yeah, I did. I had a little salad, which, <laughs> you know, always helps. And then I I attacked the cookies. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Lindsay, what do you got to say? That, uh, that Lindsay Lohan thing, someone took pictures of her filming a movie. She's playing, like, a troubled youth in her next movie. Oh, uh, so she wasn't given a blowjob. Uh, no, it was, it was for a movie. Oh. I mean, I'm sure she has given a blowjob. This is the worst video ever made. <laughs> <laughs> you do sound like that Napoleon Dynamite dude. It's getting worse and worse. I think yeah. it's Do the chickens head. have large talons? When I watch uh, Napoleon Dynamite now, I see J.D. Gosh. Here, it's a good your... movie, isn't it? Hey, J.D., what would you do on vacation? <laughs> Nothing, really. Yeah. You know, I was really nice. I wrote a, a note to a lot of the guys, and I said, hey, what's everybody doing for vacation? You're bugging the heck out of me. Gosh. <laughs> and, and J.D. writes back. He goes, what do you want to know that for? No, I, I, no, you're no, so no, no. Bored? You're so bored? <laughs> oh, you're kidding. And I'm, no. like, I'm like, like, I get this hostile letter. No, like, dude, it wasn't a hostile at all. I was, I was asking, uh, first of all, I debate on whether to send it out. Cause I didn't know if you'd think it was funny or not. But it was written on a Saturday night at 11 o'clock. <laughs> and I was like, were you drunk when you wrote this? I wasn't drunk. I was just curious what my guys were up to and trying <laughs> all to be all friendly. Right. Okay. Oh. I didn't know I was going to get a hostile note. But it wasn't hostile. There was nothing hostile about he it. He goes, what's the matter? It's 11 o'clock on a Saturday night. You got nothing to do? <laughs> Dang. Well, we were at the, when me and John... By the I... way, you were the only one who responded to me 11 o'clock on Saturday night. No, I, I didn't respond. I didn't respond until Monday. That's... No. Well, it's me and John I were at the All-Star game. John I had one of those... Uh, Blackberry things, yeah. and he, yeah. well, he's a mogul now. It's well, a telephone. He was, uh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, he was uh, uh, text messaging JD. JD. Yeah, the whole game. Not the whole game. Why? Almost the whole game. Not the almost the whole game. Maybe JD. the home run derby. But like John would show me some of JD's. Like he would just make a negative comments about people. Like yeah. <laughs> he would just he would just go, "This guy sucks." <laughs> JD multitasking yeah. while he watches the game. Every comment was sort of like negative. <laughs> Dude, do you do anything with people over vacation, or do you just like kind of sit at home and uh, watch TV? No, I was here most of the time. Yeah. Did you have a hookup with Richard that night? <laughs> no, no, that was last weekend. Did you have any fun at all for two weeks? Um, yeah, oh, I did the, <laughs> I did the intern show one night, and I got told that uh, by one of the interns she'd rather bang Jason Kaplan than me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that was uh, fun. Oh, that was real fun. He's fat. And then later we went out that night, and I heard it from two other girls. So you know. you're at least sort of in shape, <laughs> dude. That's what I said. I said at least I don't weigh 500 pounds. How did that <laughs> How did that conversation come up? <laughs> it was it was an F Mary kill and the and, the and you were the kill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the other guy? And Steve, the the host. What would they want to do with him? I guess Mary. Who knows? I, I heard you I was. You were the kill over I, Steve and Jason? I heard I was killed. I was done. <laughs> Dude, you got it bad. Yeah. You could Have be... you crushed on one of the interns this season? I <laughs> I was until she told me she'd rather bang Jason Kaplan. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? I got to tell you something. You're not a bad-looking guy. It's the goofy attitude. I, I do. I know. I am terribly socially. Yeah, you're terribly socially. <laughs> I'm I'm not very good socially. You're kidding. <laughs> and dude, what's with almost shaving your entire head of hair off? That's I mean, dude, you could almost on. look handsome if you had some hair. No, I'm. You I got look, hair. Play it up. Yeah, you look military almost, man. Yeah. I yeah, it's true. You'd look better with a lot of hair, maybe. Over your face. <laughs> Over your face. <laughs> like you're, you're, not a, you're you're kind of a handsome guy, I think. It's just like you sh you shave your head, you, and then when you talk, you're like mush mouth. You got to take some speech lessons, or some like etiquette school, and get some confidence. Cause, dude, you should but be getting look, laid. You are trying to be nice to him. He attacked you. Yeah. That's how he is. Oh God. <laughs> so the guys are telling me that this was their night out. So I guess this intern, she was an intern like two semesters ago, and she said, you know, she she'd kill Jason. She uh, she'd kill um, JD. They were at the bar. <laughs> so JD got like all pissed off and irritated and huffy, and he left. It was pouring rain. He's soaked. She waits like 15 minutes. She calls her back. She's like, dude, come on. I was just kidding. Come on back. Uh, he goes back to the bar. She tells him it again. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Uh, you know. I'm sorry. No, it's safe. Uh, but I just like listening to you talk to them when Fred plays Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> you do sound like him. Well, I'd, I'd vote for you. You have a sweet bike, and you're really good at hooking up with chicks. Plus, you're like the only guy at school who has a mustache. If you need to use any of my skills, I can do whatever you want. Plus, I could be your bodyguard, too. 
Can you dance? <laughs> Can I dance? Man. No. You're like at the end of Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> I can't. No, I can't How do that. How do you feel about that one? It looks pretty sweet. It looks awesome. It's, it's incredible. Do you hear that you sound like him? Yes. You yes, know. I do. No. Yes. <laughs> hey, Napoleon. What did you do on last summer again? I told you. I spent it with my uncle in Alaska hunting wolverines. Did you shoot any? Yes, like 50 of them. They kept trying to attack my cousins. What the heck would you do in a situation like that? <laughs> what kind of gun did you use? A freaking 12 gauge. What do you think? <laughs> All right, what are you going to do today, Napoleon? <laughs> Whatever I feel like I want to do. Gosh. <laughs> That is the same exact like attitude you have. Yeah. yeah. People Gosh. ask you a nice question, you get hostile. All angry. Stay home and eat all the freaking chips, Kip. <laughs> Napoleon, don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Besides, we both know I'm trained to become a cage fighter. Such <laughs> wing, Kip. You have the worst reflexes of all time. Try and hit me, Napoleon. What? I said come down here and see what happens if you try and hit me. Wow. <laughs> so all I'm saying is, if I write you a nice email, you don't have to be hostile. I wasn't like being hostile. Dynamite. I was trying to be joking around. He's like, "What's the matter? <laughs> don't you have anything to do on a Saturday night?" <laughs> I like, didn't know if you think that was funny. Dude, I wrote you an email just I asking know. what you're up to. I'm hunting wolverines. God. <laughs> Hey, welcome. You know when you don't sound like Napoleon Dynamite when you're trying to do an impression of Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. All right, listen. <laughs> Get some confidence. Okay. Grow your hair a little bit. <laughs> It'll grow back. I walk in after the two-week vacation. Where, would you shave your head? <laughs> who did that to you? Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, who, who's the barber that thought that looked good? There's a Russian guy around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> a Russian guy. You know, in Russia, I was medical doctor. <laughs> it's like $12, so. I cut your hair. Howard TV has tape of JD dancing. Where were oh. you dancing? Oh, maybe on... Um, the boat at Robin's party or something? I'm sorry. I don't know. Oh, no, you you're looking like a toga party. Oh, fucking hell. That's from hedonism. <laughs> oh, it's from hedonism. Oh, Jesus Christ. You do look like a poet. <laughs> okay, all right. He's not really in shape either. No, no. no. You need to join a gym. Yeah. Hmm. I all need right. to do a lot of things. All right. See, J.D. sort of blew the illusion for me with him because I thought maybe he's like a brilliant filmmaker waiting to bud, and then he made a movie. It was horrible. <laughs> oh, fuck you guys. Oh, take it easy. Uh, uh, one out, huh? the Ronnie. Time's running out on you being a young, hot director. Uh, I, I know. Well, M. Night Shyamalan is coming in here today. Maybe you can impress him. Yeah, I, I doubt it. <laughs> See? You well, maybe to... it's the wrong subject, too. It's true. Maybe, uh... You made a documentary. You guys are retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You know, I am not. You know what was weird yesterday? You know, I had Ivan Reitman up here, and I was showing him around and everything. So uh, I introduced him to Richard and Sal, and Sal gets up and, like, grabs both his hands and goes, it is an honor to meet you. You know, I love all uh, your movies. Uh, so I saw J.D. sitting there, and I'm thinking, hey, J.D.'s into directing. And, you know, I'll, I'll introduce him to Ivan. He's like, hey, what's up? Like, this, you know, like, I didn't get up. Dude, I, no, that's cool, J.D. No, 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 no. Dude, seriously, like, I was impressed to meet Ivan Reitman. But, you, know, you would never know it. I, will, I don't know how to react to, to people I don't know. I don't hey, want to, you know, overplay and hi, Mr. act Reitman, like a douchebag. Hey, Mr. Reitman, I'm a huge fan of uh, your work. Oh, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was don't so weird. Don't be sorry. I mean, it's just sad. Uh, you have no social <laughs> skills. Oh, Where was he raised? <laughs> By wolves. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. If you want to hear some of JD's directing skills, <laughs> on preview page one in dark green, uh, he's directing a porn movie in hedonism, and it's really it's pretty funny. That that's that's great. Uh, okay. Just lean out and eat her out, and you other girls eat. Everyone eat each other out. Like nasty. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> Doing great. You're fine. Oh. Just, hey, you are a good director. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got. You got. You, you, you know. Tell them they're going on the right path. So. There you go. In this scene, you'll be eating each other up. <laughs> There you go. Everybody there you out. go. <laughs> as you were. As you were. As you were. <laughs> well, I, that's all I cut. <laughs> as you were. As you were. 
What's this? Howard TV has a clip of JD almost drowning in four feet of water. Oh, this, Howard, this is maybe the funniest video I've ever seen. Oh, here he goes. He's going down a slide and he misses. Then he falls into the pool. And now he's drowning. Oh, <laughs> Dude, what's that? When is that going to be on Howard TV? When's the hedonism special going to be on Howard TV? I don't know. Not. not what soon, happened? Now? Hopefully. What do you mean? I mean, how is it you were was, drowning? Okay, feet, first of all, why don't you first, just stand up. Well, first of all, I'm not that good of a swimmer. Second of all, I can't see too well without my glasses. <laughs> I'm going down the slide and I don't see the. I got water going into my face and I don't see the end of the slide coming. And next thing I know, I'm in water and I, I can't. Find when you go down a water slide, I can't slide, find my balance. When you go down a water slide, don't you expect to be in water eventually? Well, yeah, but I thought I would see the end or something, but I didn't. Look at him. He's drowning. <laughs> He's drowning and the water's up to his knees. <laughs> Howard, we watched this tape like 400 times and it gets funnier and funnier. <laughs> the guy that come over and make sure. <laughs> Can I see him? I need to see it one more it's time. It's great in slow motion, too. Oh, Please. yeah. Look at him. He's going into the water. The water is literally up to his knees, and he's drowning. I couldn't find my balance. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. JD's whole uh, hedonism trip is going to be on in August. Oh, great. Oh, my God. It's the greatest thing. <laughs> That'll be on Howard TV on demand. Yeah, it's it's like an hour last, special. The one last <laughs> fall there is hilarious. I promise you that is well worth the price of admission. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, thanks, J.D. i got to take a break anyway. Lisa G. will be in next with the news, but I, I, it's been an hour and 15 minutes. I haven't taken one break. Let's do that. We'll come back. Don't worry about it. We'll be back right after these you know words. That? Like the, one of his producers, uh, probably his producers were asleep. No, 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 no correction. No. Oh, 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 oh. Not that I can't see. Wait, I can't hear you. Are you wearing an I Like Me t shirt? That's yeah, the funniest thing you. I ever saw. <laughs> <laughs> that's, an old, that's an old one. He's, uh, he's got several t shirts. That's that an old one. Uh, I, you know what? It's actually. <laughs> that's sweet. It has something to do with like a Halo 2 or something. I don't know. Scott the Pace got these shirts a while back ago. And they didn't. They they obviously don't fit him, so I, he gave to me. So I love when you talk on the. Air you guys are having a killer time. <laughs> what? How does that make sense? Uh, it's got the face. Got the face. It's got the face. Got shirts. Nothing to do with Halo Two. I mean, who well, who's Halo, Halo Two? Okay, Scott the face was into that video game. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like me. Uh, aren't you wearing also a shirt that says uh, "I'm bringing the sexy back"? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I say I say that after like when I'm on a wrap up show or something. I go. That's, That's your call. thing. I'm bringing the sexy back. Is that your sign off? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, what were you saying? Uh, I don't believe there was a correction because they, they played the clip and then they went right to like phone calls and stuff. And Andre Agassi never said, hey, by the way, my name is Andre no, Agassi. <laughs> he, he gave like this <laughs> he gave yeah. a weird face and then they went right to the clip. So. Yeah. Uh, Do the chickens have large talons? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. Can you get more uh, Napoleon Dynamite clips so every time he walks you in? Go tell your mom to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, where's that clip of JD on the wrap up show where he can't even get out of sentence? I want to bug in the heck out of me. Gosh. Give me one second. All right, because I ask for that every day. It's the greatest. He told us where he was on 9 11 yesterday on the wrap up show. It just stops the room. Where was what, he? Where was he? I don't even remember. He wasn't Stay home and eat all the freaking chips, Kip. I think he McCoy, was... don't be jealous that I've been chatting online with babes all day. Besides, we both know I'm training to become a cage fighter. Since when, Kip? You have the worst reflexes of all time. Try and hit me, Napoleon. What? I said come down here and see what happens if you try and hit me. What? what where were you on 9-11? <laughs> <laughs> where were you? I was at I was at Full Sail. I was at the school that I went to like film for. Where? It's a school called Full Sail. Full Sail. It's like a, I was at Full Sail. Full I was at Full Sail. It's like a, it's like a technical like school. Anyone knows what the fuck that is? Yeah. Like I was at a school. I, I know. I was just saying. He went to. I mean, everything is pathetic. He went to Full Sail. Have you ever heard of that? I mean, UCLA sorry. was booked. What, what, it's a film school where? Well, it's not like a film school. It's like a technical school where you can do film and video or recording arts <laughs> or, or digital media. As opposed to half sale? <laughs>
I don't know. Here's J.D. being incoherent on the wrap-up show. I love this clip. <laughs> you know, work flirting. I, I know she's married and stuff. Uh, they, the they, hey, no, whatever. <laughs> I, I oh, wait, wait, is this... This what? isn't what you were looking no. for. It's like yeah, a compl- I'll have it up. I'll have it up in a second. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the That's one I wanted. That's a compilation of him being incoherent. Yeah. You know, work flirting. I, I know she's married and stuff. Uh, they, they, the hey, no, whatever. I I can't think offhand of what I said. I think uh, I just, like, flirted with her and stuff. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's like, you know, I'm not, like, you know, thinking about her at night and stuff. But I, it's not, <laughs> I was like, you know, hey, what's up? I, it's just like, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, you're, you're looking very nice today. I I don't I don't know. I, I, I probably, I, I don't know. No, I That's guess I did. did. I I don't remember everything I said. Um, no, it was just like I I probably, yeah. I guess I did. I don't know. Uh-huh. I guess said you know I I uh you know uh, dude I don't know. I don't. Uh, sure yeah. I you know I I said uh, I probably just said you know you're you're looking nice today. I. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I, 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 I have a crush on you. We were probably just like talking or whatever, and I was like, uh, all right, you know, uh, it, uh, dude, I don't know. I don't, do what? Do, uh, do, I don't know how, it, I didn't say that. Uh, in some way or another, yeah, I'm sure. About time. Wow. <laughs> you said a mouthful, my friend. How'd you like the summit meeting yesterday? Uh, it was it was interesting, you know. It was kind of funny. I don't know. It was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Did it make Is that you? Because you think you're fat. <laughs> Did make... not? You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. <laughs> don't you think the meeting was inspirational with everything that we've been doing? Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, but I'm always, you know, I I work hard anyway. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I. I... Well, it was just a. It wasn't to say you need to work hard. <laughs> it was to say, wow, look what we're all doing. No, together. no, no. Trust me, I'm proud. You know, I'm. Honored to be a part of this whole thing, you know. I I sat there like, Jesus Christ! I work for freaking the Howard Stern show, and the you know, so <laughs> what? I'd vote for you. You have a sweet mic, and you're really good at hooking up with chicks. Plus, you're like the only guy at school who has a mustache. If you need to use any of my skills, I can do whatever you want. Plus, I could be a bodyguard too. <laughs> That's what you got out of the meeting yesterday, the summit? <laughs> yeah. No. I think he was impressed by that when uh, Walter Zabo said, uh, look where you are, right? <laughs> that that part, you're in Manhattan. That, that got it. In Rockefeller Center. Well, I actually and thought that. And you're J.D. Three years ago, I was a full cell. <laughs> where were you? I was a full cell. A full cell. Oh, oh, yeah. Three years from now, oh, uh, three years from now, someone's going to ask him where he was three years ago. He's going to say, I was Rockefeller Center. I was a Rockefeller Center. I was a full cell. I was a full cell. He's going to be on a job. I migrated to New York. He's going to be on a job interview. He'll be like, oh, and what is your resume? Rockefeller <laughs> Center No, come on. Tell us the whole story of 9-11 like you did yesterday. <laughs> I don't know. Some, uh, some planes crashed in the building. I, I don't know. I didn't care. Uh, I worked hard. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, really in a plane. I, I, I was studying. I, I was in care. a plane. I was in Florida. I didn't care. I was at Full Sail. Yeah, full Sail. Full Sail. <laughs> a coconut fell on my head. I don't know. <laughs> what happened to you? He was somewhere not lifting weights. <laughs> We were sit- we were sitting in class and uh, I was wearing my I like me T-shirt. I'm skinny with big tits. <laughs> Jeez, fuck you. Go ahead. <laughs> we're we sitting in class. Yes. <laughs> we were sitting in class. Full sail. And someone like came up to the instructor and I don't know what he said, but we you know we all got to leave the room and we all found out out there that you know plane hit the World Trade Center. Did the guy get up there and say, you know, all of you guys have such a bright future here at Full Sail. Here's something to really brighten up your day. Where's Full Sail? Where is it? It's in Winter Park, Florida. Okay. That, that, that's... <laughs> Where the terror is trained, by the way. Yeah. Right. And right right around the corner is Richard Christie's uh, warehouse where he's saying that. So you're at Full historic. Sail, and the professor said something was up. And uh, we all left, and, uh, you know, I found out, you know, Later, you know, while we were standing outside, that you know, planes hit the World Trade Center, and I said, "Wow, he's a lousy pilot." <laughs> so, so you're making this too interesting. It's so funny. So, <laughs> so me and my brother, we went out to my car to listen to you and listen to what was going on. And uh, after we were told that we could, you know, leave, 
And uh, we listened in there, and then we drove home. And <laughs> we <laughs> laughed. And then we went bowling. <laughs> <laughs> we listened to the rest of the broadcast while we watched uh, the TV while what was going on. Wow. Wow. Cool. <laughs> Very I'm sorry it wasn't as interesting as, you know, actually being here. <laughs> well, you're, you're, right. It's, you're right. It's not even close. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Life this, in Winter Park pretty much went on. <laughs> this was the clip I was looking for, by the way. You were a busy guy today. There was a ton of clips played. I know. Dude, I I probably haven't as much... <laughs> I haven't had as much of my stuff <laughs> playing on the air than I have today. <laughs> JT is smoking angel. He's <laughs> drunk with no, no. sleep. No, no, I'm, I'm a... I haven't had a... I haven't had a... I had a... I had a... I had a... You know what I think I'm going to do? I think... Here's what I want to do. Oh, no. At the Beer League premiere, I'm not going to say a word. I just want you to say something. Right. Ooh, that's good. Oh, I'm there. It. Just just say whatever JB you want. will introduce the movie. Yeah. Can't wait. That's what I want. Whatever you need, Artie, I'm there for you. <laughs> J.D., the man. J.D., you bringing a date to Artie's premiere? Uh, I don't. I have yet to get my. Like, nah, you're on the li- you're on the list. Oh, okay. you, can, you can bring it. You, you got a broad. You can bring. It. You got a date. <laughs> can you scrounge up a date. You should be able to get a date for that. We'll see. We'll see. Hey, double I can A. Check. Shouldn't J D be bringing oh, hot God. girls around? Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Of course, bro. Man, I don't get this guy. I've been fucking telling him for years now. He works for B Howard Stern Show. This guy should be fucking pulling threesomes every fucking night. <laughs> recording fucking bitch. For I mean, show. Double A's no better looking than JD, and Double A's with a different hot chick every night. Bro, let me tell you something. This cat hangs out with me fucking one week's time. He'll come back and tell you stories your head will Fucking T. This guy's got a fucking mate. He works for the greatest show on earth, and now he's fucking, he's still not getting laid. I don't get this fucking guy. He must like fucking his hand or something like that, but. I don't know. Some guys have a double A, and some don't. Like, Artie was backstage at his own concert, couldn't get laid. Let me tell you something. You realize every guy pretty much who works for you, none of us are the kind of guys that could ever pull threesomes in their life. <laughs> I know. It's weird. Like, no one is capable of taking advantage of this. <laughs> me, me, JD, Jason, <laughs> Sal, Richard, we're all dorks. It's too much. <laughs> you were saying yesterday, Artie needs a guy that just points out the Uh-oh. and like, bro, I will be with Artie every fucking gig he does. I'll tell you what. You want to know something? <laughs> I he will get a hot chick every fucking I night. I believe, Artie, uh, you know, as goofy as that sounds, Double A will get you, will get you laid. He'll be your wing. He'll be your Double asshole. A got it. By the way, Double A, did you see that item in page six about our party? Yes, yes. It was fucking <laughs> awesome time. That time. I appreciate that night, Artie. That was a good time, man. He awesome got laid. Night. Yeah, of course. I guess so. Du- Double A, you got laid that night, right? Hell yeah, bro. Artie, did you? No, I had, <laughs> I, had to leave, I had to leave the room before my head exploded. <laughs> Richard, what do you want to say, Richard Christie? Well, first of all, I was at uh, Artie's Borgata show, and I I got to listen to about two minutes of his act because Double A was talking a million miles an hour in my ear. Double oh. A's a, a nice guy, but man, he was just on fire that night. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, Double A, are you coked up? No, bro, I don't do drugs, bro. Well, you, but, but you had said that, you, I mean, I'm not accusing you of anything, but you said that you hadn't slept in a week. Yeah, how do you do that? Oh, bro. You sleep when you're dead, bro, like Bon Jovi says, man. Hell no, man, I'm alive. Bro. I know Bon Jovi. The guy's asleep every night at 8 o'clock. <laughs> well, what, sleep when you're what dead. does Double A talk about? I... I, I I did, didn't really hear anything. I just heard, like, hey, what's going on? Does he have a bad breath? breath? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's like blowing in your face. He's probably like, hey, I got to tell you, I swear to God, I don't know why you guys aren't getting late. I get a different honey every night. <laughs> That's what he was talking yeah. about. He was excited because some of the interns from the show were there oh, hanging boy. out. She was slamming that one girl. She was pretty good. And then he, uh, and and when he wasn't talking to me, he's going, "Hey now!" like yelling at Artie yeah. while he's on stage. What intern is he all worked up about? Um, I don't remember. What do you remember? Which? Oh, intern actually, was yeah, there was an intern who brought a couple of friends that were very pretty. Uh, I, I, you probably don't know who the intern is. Her name was Georgina. She worked there. With yeah, she was good. Oh. She was uh, cute. Uh, to... Besides the point, afterwards, after his gig, man, we went all uh, to the mix over there. Bro, Artie hooked us up with a nice fat room, and then the, the, the room was filled with hot girls. Well, well this is what happened. Again, another fucking... <laughs> so, so after, you know, my last show at the Borgata, the guy says to me, look, there's a nightclub here, Mix. I can get you a private room. 
And I go, okay, fine. And then Double A, who was also with uh, a couple of other friends, and I'll never be a nightlife guy. I never know why that's important to get a private room. And well, like, like some I mean, people covet that. It's, it's I a get little, bored. It's better my... than just standing by the bar, right. you know, trying to get a drink. You know, they'll bring drinks to oh, you and I shit. See. Okay. So, but the, it wasn't that big of a place, and it was packed with like 50 people after a little while, and just every single person just talking in my ear. And, uh, and you still didn't get laid. No, and Double A kept bringing back girls that he looked like he had kidnapped or chloroformed. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, you know, and, and they were they were pretty and stuff, but it was also packed with 50 guys, too. And, you know, of course, the, the girls can't talk to me because the guys are crowbarring them out of the way right. to talk to me. And... Uh, I uh I didn't, I didn't bring no stick in that room. I just brought all guy, uh, girls. No in there. stick. No, I know. I no know. dick. I brought, all, I brought all girls in there for all you. All right, Double A, thank you. Hey, Artie, bro, thanks a lot, man. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow at the premiere. All uh, right, yeah. All uh, right. Yeah, you, thanks, uh, by the way, you're going to be sitting next to Artie, so you can talk to him through the whole movie. <laughs> no doubt. I'll bring him a hottie. All right. Good. <laughs> no you know, doubt. By the way, that school that JD went to, like my warehouse was right next to it, and I used to drive by there to get barbecue. It's nothing but nerds. <laughs> <laughs> it's ground zero for nerds. You would know, Dick. <laughs> wow. Get, you're getting insulted by your alma mater? This is pretty much the worst video ever made. No, he's actually right. Oh. Did you use any of your skills at Full Sail to make the three faces of Ronnie? <laughs> you learned a lot. It's expensive, too. How is much it, was it for... Uh, I, I think it's like 35000 <laughs> Oh, <laughs> sucker nerds. For a year. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, but you learn TV. <laughs> and you said something about your brother being with you. Did you and your brother go? Yeah. yeah. Wow. We got wow. a deal. <laughs> Two for one? Two Your old man shot on 70 grand. Uh, no, I, we're, we're still paying for it now, so wow. I was on loan. Listen, yeah, in their brochure it says if you have two nerds in your family, you can get a deal. <laughs> you can get our two, ner two nerd for one. I want to get one free. <laughs> what is that, uh, JD? I want to get one free. Right. I had nerd wow. brother special. Uh, no, you, you know, you know what they're. It's buy one. Uh, get one free. Uh, you, you know, you know. <laughs> it's two for one Wednesday. Hi, no, my name is Ed Horrormeyer. <laughs> We're a two nerd family. <laughs> and what does your brother do now? He has uh, a pocket projector. He, he, he opens the door at a supermarket. <laughs> Actually, he works at Best Buy now. Oh, <laughs> Best Buy. He's on the Geek Squad. <laughs> He's getting fitted for a blue blazer at Best Buy. <laughs> right over here is the DVD section. What's the name of that college again? Full Sail. <laughs> Wait, when your brother went in and told him he graduated Full Sail, you mean the television industry didn't open up the door? <laughs> yeah, Not the Best Buy industry. Yeah, we were going to be in TV because we watch a lot of it. <laughs> you can sell television. <laughs> Actually, Full Sail is also known. It's like uh, among the hip people down there. It's called it's called the Roadway to Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably like, what's he do for Best Buy? Is he like one of those guys really, who work in the aisle? I actually don't know. I don't know. cash register. I, I, I don't really know what he does. I think he sort of. I, I I don't know. I mean, with that education, he lives, he lives out in California now, so he's got a good life. I I don't know. I don't really talk to him all that much. Have you ever visited him? No, no. I mean, you know, he was living here for a while, and then he moved out to California. Does he look like you? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. He's the only guy in California with an above ground pool. <laughs> can he speak, or is he got the same sort of weird thing you got going? I don't on? I don't know. You don't know if your brother can speak? I I guess he can speak. I don't know. Yeah. Does he get laid? I don't know. <laughs> what was it? The East Coast wasn't big enough for the both of you? Uh, I, 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 full sale, I, I recommend that we go our separate ways. <laughs> Does your brother owe you money or something? I heard that. I don't think so. Oh. Not, not, at least, you know, if he did, I don't I don't remember it now. <laughs> what? You don't remember? Well, it's, been, it's been so you, long. You, he you moved out to California like years ago. So. Would you recognize your brother if we brought yes, him? Yes, yes. I, I mean, Do you I call had... him ever? Uh, not really, not too often. Like mm -hmm. I, you know, I've I've seen him, you know, once. We actually spent time with my dad earlier this year, <laughs> and then uh, way to go. Wow. And, what uh, happened? You two were so close. You went to school together. Yeah, I, I don't. It's uh, oh, it's full sale. It, you know, we <laughs> shared a locker at full sale. <laughs> <laughs> we were dorm roommates. <laughs> Do they have dorms at full sale? No, we actually had to rent an apartment. So for thirty-five grand, they don't even they don't even give you Put a place you to up, stay. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> we had a locker. <laughs> and what was your major? Uh, film and video or, uh, film production, film video production. So you, so you're probably the most successful graduate because you're uh, just watching know. TV for me. Uh, I, I don't know. I might be the most. Well, uh, I don't know. 
If anything, I was might be well known, but I mean, I'm sure there's people. I, I think people have worked on like Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Like doing digital stuff for them. I don't know. Digital uh, stuff. Huh? I don't know. You, how come after every sentence you say I don't know? You don't know anything. No, I don't. <laughs> One guy watches do? TV for Spielberg. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But there was no graduate. How did you find this school? I, I really don't remember, actually. <laughs> I, I really don't pay attention to my own life. You don't remember how you found the school you went to? I think my brother was considering, I think my brother was uh, thinking about going there, and I thought I would go there, too. So. Well, I, I, I talked to my guidance counselor, and they only found one school I could get into. <laughs> it was what, close. Were my you, brother, like, retarded in school? Like, did you have really bad grades? No, you know what? I had, like, straight A's through high school, except senior year. I sort of, sort of slacked there. So what happened? Why were you not, like, in Harvard? I, no, I don't, I'm not that. What'd you get smart. on the SATs? Uh, ten, ten. All right. Both times. Mm -hmm. Better than I did. My brother got a Scrabble scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> Matt O, you're on the air in Albany. Hello, Howard. Hey, oh. Shake it out. Shake it out. <laughs> we got um the uh, on demand finally, and it's freaking great. Yeah, they they really oh. got to watch the 9/11 special on uh, Howard TV. It's really really good. 